Hey guys, it's Harpstone. Welcome back to another FIFA 13 video. And today, I'm bringing to you guys a team of the season review on Ruben Castro. Let's look at on card stats. He's got 86 pace, 80 shooting, 6 foot passing, 82 dribbling, and 70 heading. Um, I brought him for 66,000 coins, but I believe his price is dropping steadily. But I'm not 100% 100% sure on that. And he's got a free star wig but free star skirmers. Plays for Real Betis in the Liga BVA. He's Spanish. She's a striker. And I played him in the 3 5 2 formation. Let's look at his in game stats. He's got 89 pace, 91, sorry, 89 acceleration, 97 agility, 87 balance, 77 jumping, 99 reactions, 86 sprint speed, and 63 strength, 59 aggression, 85 attacking positioning, and 69 vision. 83 ball control, 76 curve, 84 dribbling, 90 finishing, 72 heading accuracy, 80 long shots, 80 penalties, 85 shot power, and 83 of volleys. He has got a medium attacking work rate and a low defensive work rate. You can also play him as a centre forward and a left winger, and he stands in at 5 foot. Alright guys, so now let's look a little bit more in depth about his stats. So he's got great pace, 86 pace. Definitely fulfills my needs, but sometimes he can feel a little bit sluggish. Not all the time, but most of the times he can run past defenders such as Felipe Santana, etc. etc. So so there's no real problem with him in that area. And obviously he has fantastic dribbling as well. Not only increases his speed, because as you guys maybe know, the higher the dribbling, the higher the speed, and the faster the player will go. So that's all good in my books. Also, he has great shooting. Um, he's great at close range shooting. I mean, he's fantastic when he's one on one with the keeper inside the box. However, when he's outside the box, his long shots are quite dreadful. Um, he just seems to have no shot power when he hits the ball from outside the box. And it's just an easy pick up from the goalkeeper. So I was quite disappointed with his long shots. He's got his heading. Is not the best. I mean, he's quite short, which really doesn't help him. And it's very hard for him to get on top of defenders. And he wasn't really heading the ball or winning any headers from goal kicks, etc. And really, I, I think his heading is a pretty disastrous and it's a big disappointment by, for me anyway. Um, his passing is quite good. I used him in the 3 5 2 formation, which means I used him with another striker, which happened to be another, another team in the season striker. Who I, will, who I will be bringing a review on later on tomorrow, maybe, perhaps. Uh, I'm not going to tell you who it is, but you could probably guess from the video who it is. But, yeah, I played him with him. And because he was slower than Castro, um, I had to really guide him. And, you know, having a striker really helped Castro out. Because I, I don't think he is good enough to play as a lone striker. Because, in my honest opinion... He's just not strong enough to uh, tackle off the opposition. That's my honest opinion. Um, he's got good uh, weak foot. Yeah, his weak foot's alright. You know, he has got a decent left foot. But sometimes when he does uh, take a swing with his left foot on the ball, he can go a little bit wayward. But most of the times, he has got a great left foot, even though it's only three stars. Um, he's got decent skill moves as well. Three star skill moves for a attacker is really, really nice, and I was very happy with that. It means he can do the roulettes and the what's it? The uh, no, it's the um, step overs. He can just he can do the step overs. That's it, uh, and it really, really helps him out. Um, he also has a medium and a low work rate and that doesn't so that medium attacking work rate and low defensive work rate and for an attacker that is not good it means he's going to be quite lazy and he's going to really really just stay back and you know i didn't really see that i thought he actually had a high attacking work rate because he definitely he was getting forward a lot he was helping me out a lot and he, i didn't i didn't actually see they had a medium attacking work rate so it's not that big of a problem but sometimes i do i do see that he was actually standing on the halfway line so it can be a little bit of a problem so i recommend that you do get this player but i only recommend you probably should get him next wednesday when the next team of the season comes out because i guarantee his price will drop like a bomb so um, if you guys don't mind, drop a like and subscribe to our Harp Star, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yep, see you guys.